hello everyone now uh, Vivek here in this video I'm going to give you an overview of how you can create 3d interactive infographics for your website or your presentation now this demo that you see here is a web page hosted on AWS uh, the link is in the description below and uh, basically this way you can present your data in 3d format and uh, this is just a simple scenery but it can be any model or layout or a blueprint um, and it's a very neat way uh, to showcase your work uh, we are now just showing the 3d model here uh, but as you can see it's interactive and informative at the same time uh, users can click on it they can they it can be a really immersive experience for them and there are click events sounds and you can even add animation to this for example there can be birds flying around on this scenery now this can also be achieved in a game engine uh, for example unity or Godo. but for this particular purpose we don't need all that extra bits that comes with a full flashed engine and it just bloats our page and it will become slow uh, so I'm using B Blender for 3D content creation. That is the models, the UV layout, texturing, etc. And then I'm exporting them and using Babylon for presenting the content in an HTML or a web page. Uh, there are other options as well like 3JS. Uh, but everything has their pros, pros and cons and uh, you can just uh, choose uh, what you like best. Uh, Babylon I like it it is fast it has a small footprint and it is mobile right um, it's sort of an isometric low poly style of a scene uh, it was quick uh, and dirty and you can do the EV engine it looks gorgeous in blender render by the way let me just add that now there are multiple components in the scene and the reason uh, is because I wanted to showcase in our example what will happen if you click on different parts and you know label the different parts uh, textures are all hand drawn and the tower is in two parts uh, so you can even parent them but I just left them as is um, now I just exported this scene as an object and main thing uh, to consider here is make sure you apply your scale rotation and your location while exporting to any platform otherwise the results can be disastrous um, uh, I just exported the mesh without the camera or the default light. Uh, once you export it, you need to ensure you maintain your texture location in the folder before placing it in your web directory. Okay, now let's jump into our code. Um, so this is our main HTML file and this is a pretty straightforward file. I'm just including a bunch of uh, uh, JavaScript that you require for Babylon and then my main uh, file is main.js where my code resides and the main fun entry function is the body on load so once the document has finished loading um, then I am calling that function okay and uh, you can see the directory structure over here files are residing in, in the asset folder uh, now this is a CSS file is a straightforward file nothing going on major going on over there now this is the file where all the magic happens so this is the body onload function that I uh, talked about and uh, uh, so with any uh, 3d engine uh, basically there are multiple different things that happens one is a uh, you create a scene and then you attach it and you create different nodes and meshes and then you attach it to your scene so this is basically initializing code uh, that is uh, uh, so once you create your scene uh, this is the function that gets called and in this uh, you can see I'm initializing the camera I'm creating the lights um, and then this is the main line where uh, your objects are getting loaded and as far as I can tell they are using the async function in the background so this is the callback uh, of that and in the callback uh, what I am doing is since I am using a composite object uh, I am trying to access all the nodes of the scene basically what was happening is uh, when I loaded the default scene as is the specular values on my trees and the ground was very very high uh, so I am iterating through each and object 
and from their id or the labeling that i did in blender i'm trying to identify whether it's a it's a tree or a background and then i am controlling the specular value of the materials so this is the power of the babylon that you can control the textures or the materials that you have defined in your program you can even create your own pbr textures or your default textures uh, materials and then you can assign them to the, your objects as well right um, so uh, this is the action handler uh, where all the magic happens that is uh, your i'm trying to control the visibility uh, with mouse over and mouse out and you can see it's a very simple declaration that they have uh, enabled and in this example you can see you know i'm just moving my mouse over and the visibility goes in and out um, and then i am using the click event as well and i think they are calling it on pick trigger and whenever uh, a click is happening um, so again this is the you can call your own functions as well which i have done over here so in my custom function what i am doing is first of all i am playing a click sound and then uh, i am uh, multiple things are going on here i am creating a, a target which is a small eclipse which shows which is the object that has been clicked and then I'm drawing a line from there to a GUI element uh, and these are the, the lines that, that trigger the small circle and the rectangle are GUI elements that means their position is fixed with respect to the camera so if the camera is panning or zooming uh, they, they don't move from the screen um, and then based on the tags I am labeling the meshes and then displaying them on the rectangle uh, so this particular function over here it just I'm just reading the tags and then um, returning the text to what I want to show over there uh, and this is the rectangle that is my GUI element uh, this is the target so I can just uh, define the colors that need to be used uh, or what is the style that uh, I'm going to use so yeah that was a, a quick and dirty overview of what I was able to achieve with a very few lines of codes um, I believe Babylon has a lot of potential and uh, you should definitely play around with it and try to create immersive content and include that in your website thanks a lot for watching take care bye